Welcome to the video where we will continue to discuss innate immunity. And just as a reminder, there is innate and adaptive immunity in under the classification of the immune system. And we talked about in the last video how epithelial bar barriers, phagocytes, namely neutrophils, namely neutrophils and macrophages are part of uh, the phagocytosis process. We talked about complement a little bit, and now in this video we're going to talk about these NK cells, these natural killer cells. And just a reminder that these natural killer cells are derived from this common lymphoid progenitor. Natural killer cells are a little bit bigger than the lymphocytes, the B and the T lymphocytes, and they're also called large. They're also called large granular lymphocytes. And in order to discuss this, I have a picture here. This picture picture comes from the pathological basis of disease. Uh, Kumar is the author. Robbins and Cotran path pathological basis of disease. So here is the natural killer cell. And in the natural killer cell, you have uh, an activating receptor, which is this receptor here. And you have an in inhibitory receptor. And the uh, 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 one of the best known activating receptors are, is the NKG2D receptor. And the inhibitory is these ones over here. So what happens is that the natural killer cells, they'll go, go around and they'll just kill anything that they come in contact with. However, under normal physiological conditions, you have a normal cell. And the normal cells have these ligands, okay? And when a cell is stressed, under stressed, or it's a, a viral infection, viruses, they have certain proteins that are specific to viruses, and they'll when it, when a so when a when a normal cell is stressed or infected by a virus they'll start ex displaying these ligands on top of their you know on top of their cell and their surface membrane and when a normal cell all all of our human cells you know within your body they they display a self class 1 MHC molecules. MHC stands for major histability complex. We'll talk about that later um, when we go to adaptive com um, immunity. But just for now, just just think of that there's this MHC molecule that will distinguish uh, a normal cell from a foreign cell inside your body. So these natural killer cells you know they'll they'll bump in they have to come in contact with your human you know with with your own cells and when they when they get this ligand when these two ligand when, well especially when this inhibitory ligand binds up with this inhibitory receptor on the natural killer cell it inactivates or inhibits the natural killer cell from eating it as you can see here if you have a viral infection or if you have a malignant transformation of a normal cell. So just remember that natural killer cells mainly uh, will kill anything, but the research and the data that we have, there's a strong correlation between viral infections and tumors. So that when a normal cell is, a, so let's see, see here, this is in an infected cell down here. So when this infected cell from a viral infection or from a malignant transformation, it no longer displays this a major histability complex class one molecule. It no longer displays it. it. It takes it off its surface membrane, which is which is pretty cool when you think about it. And then so this natural killer cells you know so not only does it take the inhibitory receptor away but it also expresses or puts more of these activating receptors on its surface membrane so that when this natural killer cell it bumps into one of our your normal cells if there's not this inhibitory receptor here then it will activate it and it will engulf it and destroy it so there's a decreased expression of the class 1 MHC molecules when one of your normal cells 
is has a viral inf infection or a malignant transformation. So that's how natural killer, killer cells work. Um, there's there that's kind of a for me uh, that's kind of a cool little process. So we'll see you in the next video when we'll talk about adaptive immunity.